What's up guys, Noel here in a newly opened project a QQC inspector or a QQC engineer must acquire forms to be used this project forms can be taken from the quality manager as he must provide this for a project the quality manager shall make the PQP and this project form shall be incorporated with the project quality plan for approval by the engineer or consultant for the beginners you must know the uses and importance of these project forms that I will explain one by one here are the 10 project forms that a QQC inspector or QQC engineer must have but before we dive into the full detail of these 10 project forms and if you are new here please subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our future videos one document transmittal sheet this form will use to submit documents drawings etc this shall be filled by a document controller writing the specific titles for the submittal and attach necessary attachments and of course it shall be the advice from technical manager you can download this form in the description below 2. Material Submittal Sheet or MSS this form will use to submit materials for site use make sure that required field or spaces to fill out are completely filled with correct descriptions such as supplier, material description, etc. 3. Request for Information or RFI This form will use if there is something that is not clear in the drawing to better understand or clarify a certain area of the work. So the contractor will send an RFI to the engineer or consultant for clarification. 4. Subcontractor's Approval This form will use to submit to the engineer for approval of any subcontractor that takes subcontracts work in a project. 5. Confirmation of Verbal Instruction or CVI The contractor will use this form to confirm to the engineer or consultant for the verbal instruction he stated during the meeting or phone calls or site joint inspection. Right? If the work proceeds without submitting CVI, is performed at the contractor's risk. Sixth, inspection request or IR. This form will use if there is part of activity that is ready for inspection. The inspection request shall be submitted 24 hours before inspection. IR shall not be accepted by the engineer if the time of inspection is less than 24 hours. So take care about the time. It, it might create delays on your project if it is accumulated. Succeeding activity cannot proceed without the approval of the previous activity. An approved uh, inspection request can be the medium to hold payments for requested progress billing of the contractor. It is always necessary to get approval for your inspections to avoid payments delay issue. 7. Daily Report This form will use to list down all the activity on site on daily basis including the machinery, plant, manpower, weather report. 8. Weekly Report This form will use to list down the weekly progress on site including percentage complete of the activities. Number 9. Concrete Pouring Request This form will use to request pouring concrete. It shall be sent to the engineer or consultant one day or 24 hours before the time of pouring. 10. Non-conformance report or NCR. This form will use for non-conformity noticed by the engineer and shall be issued to the contractor. Non-conformity will exist if the specification, drawing, and other standards are not followed during the execution of the project. 
The NCR is uh, sometimes used to hold the payments of the contractor's billing. No payments shall be made unless NCR is rectified and approved by the engineer. These are few of the forms we handled from the start and until completion of the project. If you have suggestions that can supplement to the mentioned documents, you may write down your comment below. So guys, don't forget to like this video and share with your uh, friends and subscribe as well. Thank you for watching.